Okay, my name is Dr. Adeo gastroenterologist in the state of New Jersey. I do like to begin by saying that I'm proud to support Mr. James Falike and the hard stand that he's taking to defend Nigerians' constitution. With his proven history of service and success, I'm hard pressed to understand why the all progressive Congress would not be happy to have him as the governor of Kongi State. The choice of um, Mr. James Falike by his running mate, by the late Prince Adu, fully affirms that he believes on their joint mission to bring change to Kogi. So why the sudden change of heart? I believe the election of November 21st, 2015 has made it very clear of the people of Kogi's mandate of their Adu Falike team to leave the state. The decision of the APC leadership to nominate the higher Velo for the governorship race, thereby circumventing the wish of the people, will have negative consequences which will echo for years to come. The whole world is watching. The nation, as we have been getting accolades far and near of the growth and the maturity of our democratic uh, dem democracy, Evident by successful election of Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired earlier this year. A democracy by definition is government in which people is vested, in which power is vested in the people and exercised by them through representative, uh, representation involving free and fair election. So, why do the APC leadership would set back? the democratic growth by decades through imposition of their mandate over the people's mandate. With that said, why would voters continue to support a government party who randomly appoints a governor who people did not vote for? It is clear that Adu, along with his running mate Falike, satisfied the provision of the Electoral Act and Constitution to warrant their election. Why is the APC ignoring the fact that Adu and Falike pulled no less than one quarter of all votes in each of at least two thirds of the local government of Kogi State and scored the highest number of votes? At this point, the fact speaks for themselves. James Falike is the rightful governor and have faith that APC and the court system would uphold our constitution and make the right decision. Based on the law. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. yes. Hi, my name is Florence Abimbola Shofalao Erickson of Clearing Hands Healthcare Agency. What is happening in Kogi State is annulment by proxy. Honorable Falike has more than proven himself through the mandates given to the joint ticket with late Aldo. What are we saying is a slap on democracy that is not too late for INEC to toe the path of honor by declaring Honorable Falike the governor elect. If we have any sense of history, we should remember that those who make peaceful change impossible make violent change inevitable. Kogi State must progress. Falike is the answer. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. As supporters in the U.S., we ask that the nation and Nigeria consider the facts that are on the table. Only democracy has brought peace to Africa post-colonial years. We've seen what's happened in South Africa, and we've seen what's happening in North Africa. And now it's the time for the elected company, countries who choose to be independent to preserve their right to freedom through its people and its policies. We ask that the government there consider this in its decision making. Democracy has been the path for the growth of Africa and its freedom, and the embracement of the rest of the world. We ask that you not cut yourself off from the rest of the world by being independently blinded. Democracy is the course that should be in Kenya. Yes. 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 